I am thoroughly excited because this is the first time ever that I'm doing a bookshelf tour and I have no idea how it's going to turn out, but I'm looking forward to it, so <laughs> let's just get into it. This is a long intro. Yeah, welcome to the realm of unpopular opinions. See, I even forgot the intro, but I'm excited. I love watching bookshelf tours so much. I'm not sure mine is going to be that enjoyable because, like, I have two bookshelves and maybe I have, like, seven, but I still hope you enjoy. I won't take the books out. That's just god-awful <laughs> to edit and to watch, so I'm going to... Go through shelves, explain things, comment a little bit. It's gonna be fun. Hi, hello, we are at the top of the shelves. This is the top one. That is the tail of my ray. These are like stuffed animals on the top and the lights. Right, anyway, let's go. This is the top shelf. It's clearly <laughs> a Robert Jordan shelf, which, shocker. I have this fake plant here. I think I bought it at Pepco, which is like a very cheap, cheap, cheap store, and I love the fake plants. I love how they look and everything. I also have this elephant. I have this thing where, like, on all the shelves, I have an elephant. I don't know for luck, I guess, but I'm trying to have an elephant on each shelf. And basically what we have here are the paperback Wheel of Time. Paperbacks of Wheel of Time. These are the original books that my dad bought when he discovered the series. That's why they're so wrecked. <laughs> and if you move the book sleeve, you can see how wrecked they are. We have a new spring and we have the companion thing. And then at the end we have Labyrinth by Kate Moss. Which is like about Cothers. Cathers, how do you say that in English? We just put that here because it fits. <laughs> And my dad really loves the book, so we just put it here. These books used to be in his room, but considering that I am collecting the hardcovers, we put it here so they can be together. But he obviously comes and gets them <laughs> whenever he wants to read them. And here we have the Conan Chronicles, also by Robert Jordan. I think he bought them used, which is why they're so battered. And here I have my Rohan and Gon Gondor book sleeve. I'm trying to get a shot. Yeah, I love it. Don't remember where I bought it. It was Etsy. I don't remember the store. It was like a year ago, but it's really gorgeous quality. And I mean, I'm not sure if it hold, holds hardcovers unless they're really, really thin, but I mean, I don't use hardcovers. I don't usually take them out with me anyway. So this is the first shelf. And I mean, the shelves are from Ikea, Billy, of course. This one is the light wood. And the other one that I have is the dark wood with like the red tint or whatever but yeah this is the starting shelf yep this is shelf number two here we have my harry potters and my graphic novels <laughs> so for the harry potters again we have the originals that my parents bought that's the series the hardcover harry potter they literally bought it at a kiosk while we were at the seaside when it came out probably stayed up all night to read it and the green ones and the Deathly Hallows one are ones that I bought myself. The green ones are the Slytherin editions that I'm collecting. And here we have knickknacks. We have Hermione's wand, which I got for my my birthday. Christmas, like 10 years ago, I think. We have the Snitch. We have the Magic Ball. We have the Time Turner. And we have a wizard. And this, these also I bought in Pepco for like... It was a pack of three, I think. The green, the blue, and the pink. And you're going to see where the rest of them are, but I just thought it kind of fit. I don't know. It, I, I just thought it fit. Leave me alone. <laughs> and Tales of Beetle, the bard, in the middle. Then here we have the rest of the stuff. We have my graphic novels. This is where we have Saga, Watchmen, Vendetta, Aristotle, which is like one of my favorite kids children's books of all time i love it so much and here we have another fake plant there's going to be a lot of these an elephant that i not knit myself but bought in waldorf i think when i was like second grade i went to waldorf kindergarten and school for the first five grades we have a stuffed hippo up there and this is usually where the death note manga would go this is just here holding the spot and that keychain would go on top of the death note manga but i'm reading it right now so 
It's not on the shelf, but this is shelf number two. Here we have shelf number three, which is the beautiful Robert Jordan shelf. <laughs> the one that you can see in videos when I sit in front of the shelves. Here we have the heart covers that I've been collecting. And we have some <laughs> Schleich <laughs> figurines because I think they fit very well. I use that for Moraine, although it doesn't look or like her really. I have a wolf figurine. And here I put some because there's a gap at the end. We have some another fake plant and a candle and there in the back there are papers with the chapter divisions of all the characters after book five now this one that's on display obviously out of the world the one that i wanted the giveaway it was it would have been very expensive if i had to buy it for myself the thing about these hardcovers that i've been collecting is that they are very cheap for some reason we didn't even know these existed my dad got this one when he ordered Memory of Light originally, and we didn't know the others existed. <laughs> so when we found them, we bought them immediately, and they were very cheap. The rest were also very cheap, but books one to five are impossible to find, and very expensive when you do find them. So that's why we don't have anything below five, except for Eye of the World, which I won. <laughs> I probably would not have found it below like 50 pounds. But one day, hopefully, I will actually get the money to collect all of them. <laughs> That's the hope, at least. And yeah, we took off the dust jackets from six to nine because it's, I mean, they're ugly. <laughs> if all of them were like these, then that would have been fine. But the dust jackets are ugly. I think it looks better like this. But yeah, these are gorgeous. I love them so much. And I wish I had the rest of them. And here we have my favorite shelf. This is miscellaneous i love how paperbacks are mostly the same size <laughs> yeah so basically here we have my <laughs> lee bardugo we have language of thorns in the corner and we have shadow and bone the collector's edition which is too pretty to actually be hidden so i put it out like this and we have a blue dragon because i think it kind of fits the aesthetic but here i'm holding all my lee bardugos we have all the paperbacks the purple shadow and bone the green siege and storm and the red <laughs> ruin and rising that one were the originals that i got the others i bought so i can complete the collection because they were mismatched and i mean honestly because these editions that one and that one have something extra <laughs> the first one has genya's story and the third one has the darkling story so i wanted all of them and this is a beautiful collection that i have there you might be wondering where six of crows is and we'll get to that <laughs> Then here on top, from the knickknacks, we have this winter painting that an American exchange student gave all of us in class when we were like juniors, I think. <laughs> Just as a thank you, it was very nice of him, but it fits wonderfully with the Winter Night Trilogy. These are the UK covers, I believe, but that's all we had here in stores. But I am planning to order the American ones, because when books are favorites, I need to have two, because one version is tabbed, the other version should be, like, so I can give it to people to read. But I'm noticing it now. It's, why doesn't it match? <laughs> like, not even the font for the author name is the same, but, I mean, the color, but fine. Fine, I'm not better. Then we have the Witcher books, which I am so appalled at how they made this. <laughs> like, one of them is slightly shorter than the rest, and not even, they couldn't even get his name to be the same size in every book and I think one of them is even a different color like a bit yellowish I think that one this is a disgrace then we have the black sheep eraser that I got for my birthday I have no idea where to put this which is why I'm holding it here and then we have the last Namsara books and here on top we have Toothless which is a toy that I got in McDonald's also like a decade ago and I thought it kind of fit well here I mean you can't deny it. A black dragon on top of Last Namsara, if you know, you know. And here I just have a candle that burned out, but now it's holding my stickies. It doesn't look that attractive, but my stickies and my spare bookmarks. But it's useful, so I don't care that much. And we have this cork, which is, I don't know, just put it here because it has a dragon. It's cute. Here we have the second to last shelf on this bookshelf. 
And here I have my middle grays. You can tell by how colorful they are. All the fantasies are really, really dark. Here in the beginning, we have the Wizards of One series. Am I a little bit bitter <laughs> that my bookstore never released the third book because it would have been a tall paperback? Yes, I am, but I got the small paperback and I can live with it. Here we have all of the Diary of the Wimpy Kid books. <laughs> I reread them so much until like the eighth book. Then I think I read the rest like only once. But it's still very fun to get a new one every year, something to look forward to. Here I have this snow globe. I am not sure why I put this here. But it sort of fits <laughs> the vibe of the shelf. I can't help it. I mean, look at the 39 Clues books. They scream Christmas <laughs> in their colors. I love how colorful they are, and I'm definitely going to have to reread them. Then we have Scary City, which is the German books that I never <laughs> continued because I stopped translating them. Thank you very much. Then we have all the Roald Dahl books. We have Dork Diaries, which is so abused because I used to reread it all the time. Then we have these. I don't remember what they are. Dear Dumb Diary, yeah. Very, very similar styles. Also have this Christmas hanging thing. And on top we have a witch, because I mean, Roald Dahl. Need I say more? It just fit perfectly. And I love the shelf. I love how colorful it is. And these are books that are like easy to read and very fun if I need a pick-me-up. I really need to reread 39 Clues, though. I've reached the bottom shelf. I like to call this shelf not exactly crap, but very close to it. So basically here we have the fancy, fancy ass editions of Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares, which I still regret I paid a lot of money for this because I thought I would love this series and I was supposed to, but then she did what she did. They're still beautiful though, I don't know if I'll ever get rid of them. Then we have Norse Gods by Neil Gaiman and Graveyard Book. I like Neil Gaiman, but he's very hit or miss with me. <laughs> Didn't hate these, which is why I keep them here. I like Norse mythology, but for example... Anansi Boys, DNF, I couldn't, I just could not. Then we have Queen of the Cheerling, we all know how I feel about this. Then here we have Lies of Locke Lamora, and we have Possess and 359, which I don't actually remember them enough to form an opinion. I need to reread these, but I just put them here because I truly don't remember and I have nowhere else to put them, so don't consider them crap. I have no authority on that, I don't remember. Then we have Skia Bones, <laughs> The Remnant Chronicles, exactly, it's like crap, but not completely. And they look gorgeous, like book design wise, hell yeah. Six of Crows, we all know what I think about this. We have the Red Queen series. As I said, I hate it. I hate it with all my heart and soul, but we know why I'm keeping it and I'm never getting rid of it ever. <laughs> well, it's too many memories for me and exact. I need to have all the all the boys all the boy scenes <laughs> on paper because I'm never getting rid of this. We have this ugly ass cat here. I have no idea why. I'm just going to move that <laughs> when I'm done with this video. But yeah, Red Queen series, I'm probably going to do a vlog reading the books 2, 3, and 4 in 24 hours. So look forward to that. And this is the crap but not quite shelf. Now on this shelf, I have a lot of crap again. <laughs> not book-wise, but like stuff-wise. I mean, I love, love these. This one I actually did sew. <laughs> so in Waldorf. So we've got the piggy bank, we have the teddy bear that my uncle gave me, and here we have random books. So, so very random. That one, Magical Garden, that's really good though. I should probably reread it. We have, see, random jokes books and like stuff that I loved when I was a kid. We have a dream book. We have some classics. This is where we actually get interesting. I'm going to move the Halloween thing. We have Sherlock Holmes, Kipling. Pride and Prejudice, Poe, Momo, Livingston, Jules Verne, Arthur. There's a lot of stuff here. And I just put this Halloween thing because I don't know, it sort of fits. Oh, right, if I didn't say, this is the other bookshelf, the dark wood red tinted one, and this is the top. And I just named this shelf miscellaneous because I don't know what to do with it. We have these children's books by Hawking. I actually really love those books. When I bought them, I bought them for really cheap at a book fair. 
and we have these books. <laughs> I used to obsess over these two. And the one Graham Brown didn't ever read. Then we have this, which is my fake book, which is somehow upside down. This is a safe. This is where I keep my money. I think it's actually a very cool concept. Why the hell is it upside down? This is the Tolkien shelf. Welcome all. <laughs> Sorry for the blinking lights, but I want better lighting for this. Here's our elephant on a wooden ball that I also made in Waldorf. <laughs> There's a lot of whittling. Here we have all the translations of all the books that I have. Silmarillion, like the tales. We have Huron's children, <laughs> children of Huron, I think in English. Then the Serbian translation, then this pretty candle. Then we have the British edition, like all three books that my dad bought in England in the 90s. Two versions of the Silmarillion and the ones that I bought, the box set, which came wrecked, that I read this spring when I was doing the Tolkienathon. Then we have another fake plant holding the book. And up here I have my dagger that I bought in San Gimignano in Florence. So Florence in Tuscany. <laughs> when I went last year I spent like 35 euros on this but I regret nothing. I love this dagger. So this is my beautiful Tolkien shelf and I love it a lot. It has a lot of history here. The Serbian edition was the original that my dad read I think that his dad gave him when he was a kid. Now we have reached my literal favorite shelf, clearly, Star Wars. And here we have a lot of stuff. We have all the books. I think this is covering up like Lords of the Sith and the Legends books. But these are all of them. We have the prequels, Darth Plagueis, Master and Apprentice. I mean, I already showed you my Star Wars book collection, so that's fine. And then I'm just scrolling here. We have the rest of the stuff that I showed you. I mean, need I say more? I covered up Ahsoka because we don't need to see that. And here we have the rest of the books. Now, as for the stuff, I got like a package from Star Wars Croatia. It's like a club that I joined, <laughs> which is useless this year because there were no meetups. But up here I have my Darth Vader doll, which has been derobed, so he looks weird. Then we have like cards, Star Wars cards. Those are gorgeous. They're like all black. And the rest of the stuff I won or got with the membership. This BB-8 doll I won when I was third in a Star Wars quiz. Then this C-3PO, all the stickers. There's more of them here. And this sticker and these stickers, all of them I got, including this Yoda keychain. All that I got with the membership to Star Wars Croatia. Then we have the Padme Amidala, like, <laughs> not deodorant, but I don't know, it's a scent thing. I've had it for quite a while, but I love the fragrance, fragrance so much. It's really good. Then I have my <laughs> Stormtrooper plushie. Got it for Christmas for my best friend a lot of years ago. Then we have the R2-D2 mug, <laughs> from which I take out all my stuff for tags. I got that from my parents randomly, actually, and this is the box it came in. I think it looks really good on the shelf. It takes up a lot of space. If I get more books, it's going to be a problem, but I think it looks really cool. And then here we have a glass, which I bought when Force Awakens came out. I wasn't really using it, so I put it on the shelf. And, like, this Leia is adorable. I love her. <laughs> and then we have, obviously, my Darth Vader Funko. I love this shelf so much and I can't wait to add to it, but I'm a little bit scared that I'm going to run out of room because I love how this box looks. And yeah, I'm seeing Kenobi and I'm crying because I'm realizing I'm so far behind in my reread of the prequels. I read Phantom Menace like, what, two months ago? We are on the pretty shelf. These are all my compendiums and my Dan Brown. <laughs> we have Wild Symphony, Lost Symbol, I think that's Deception Point. And then all the rest you can actually see. The only thing that's missing is Angels and Demons because I'm currently reading that. And then we have the paperback of Dune because I have nowhere else to put it and it kind of fits. I love that all the paperbacks are the same size mostly. <laughs> I love these paperbacks actually. They're very pretty. This is the editions I would have bought if I had a choice anyway. And we have this plush half a lump because... Loved that cartoon as a kid, and I love this plushie. It's adorable. Then we have the pink mug, little tiny mug, and that's scotch tape holding the lights. It's not pretty. 
sorry. <laughs> then we have all of the compendiums. And I love these books, they're gorgeous. We have Grimm's Fairy Tales, it's beautiful but <laughs> terrible on the inside. We have all of the Jane Austen novels. We have another Schleich figurine, I think it kind of fits. I don't know, I love the vibe. We have Robert Louis Stevenson, Earthsea, King Arthur and His Knights by Howard Pyle. We have all the Doom books. I put this in when I was arranging the shelf because, I mean, I am reading it at the moment. I don't know why I put it in. It's just going to make me forget about it. But we have the Dune trilogy. Then we have the Penny Dreadfuls and the complete tales and poems of Edgar Allan Poe. This is my probably prettiest and most expensive book that I own, but I regret nothing. It is absolutely gorgeous, and I love this shelf. I think it's very, very pretty. And it's also one of the shelves, I think, that you see in the videos. I'm going to try and move away from the blinking lights a little bit, but I really want you to see. <laughs> Here we have the TBR. If you really want to know what's on my TBR, this is it. That last one is The Blood Keeper by Tessa Gratton, a book that my parents bought for like 20. <laughs> it was very cheap and I was disturbed by the raving killing in the beginning, but I actually heard of her as an author, so I want to give it another shot. Then we have the rest of these books. I think they're very pretty looking, if nothing else. <laughs> that one's Crown of Feathers. You also can't see it. And here we have Monte Cristo. Nothing to say much about this because, I mean, and the last mug, the blue one. I sort of arranged them by color, like the black ones, the blue ones, and then the reddish and cream ones. But, like, the blue mug just fit with the blue ones. So <laughs> let me know which mini mug was your favorite. I don't know. I'm kind of partial to the blue one. It just looks kind of cheeky. This shelf, I'm honestly not going to show you because this is a genuine crap shelf. Here I have all the stuff that I would want to give away <laughs> or sell or get rid of. All the crap. I mean, Sanderson's down here. So is Narnia, Renegade, Darker Shade of Magic, Children of Blood and Bone. All the stuff is down here. <laughs> and some old books that are just, yeah, the Cruel Prince series. The only book I liked in that series was Wicked King, which is why I'm keeping it down here. I don't think I would get rid of it, but it belongs down here. I only liked Wicked King and not even that much. It's completely not memorable. Then I don't remember what else I put here. I honestly don't. But that's it so far. Some of these aren't crap, but they're just holding down the shelf until I can move it so it like doesn't collapse because it's not against the wall, but most of these are actually crap, so I'm not really going to show you this in detail. This is all you're going to get, and you're probably going to not like the blinking, so I'm going to cut this off. That would be it. Oh my, that escalated quickly. There we go. So that was it for the shelves. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not sure how long it will be. But I had fun showing you what I had. I have a couple other books, obviously, in other places. Books that I'm reading right now and some of my comics are in my dad's room. But this is, like, my shelves and what I have on them right now. I rearranged them, like, <laughs> two days ago. So, hope you enjoyed. Let me know, I don't know, if you want me to read something, if you liked anything. And that is pretty much it. This was very fun. So, I will see you in my next video.